Hi, this is Jonathan from Barn2, and in this video, we're going to look at the Barn2 EU VAT plugin for easy digital downloads. If you're using easy digital downloads to sell downloadable products like music, PDFs, pictures, software, etc., to the European Union, then, as you probably know, there are a few important VAT requirements you need to be aware of, even if your company or business isn't based in the EU. So, if you're selling downloadable products to the EU, firstly, you need to charge VAT at the rate set by your customer's location. In other words, if your customer is ordering from Germany, then you need to charge VAT at 19%, the German rate. If they're in Spain, then it's 21%. Now, the Barn2 EU VAT plugin for EDD makes dealing with VAT much simpler because it will install all the EU countries with their correct VAT rates. It will provide an option for businesses to reverse charge their VAT and it will provide you with reports to make it easy to file your VAT returns. So, let's take a look at how to install the EU VAT plugin for easy digital downloads and take the stress out of EU VAT. Okay, so we're going to need to go to our admin. So we go to the dashboard, go to plugins, add new. And then we're going to go to where it says upload plugin. Now, when you bought the plugin from Barn2, you will have received a zip file of the plugin. And it's that zip file that we need to upload. Don't unzip it, just upload it as a zip. So we'll go to choose file. And then mine's on the uh, desktop here, add EUVAT, sorry, EDD EUVAT dot zip. And I'm going to choose that one. And then we go install now. Okay, so once that's uploaded, we can go to our plugins and we can see it's here now, Easy Digital Downloads EUVAT, and we can activate that. And if we go to the settings, this is where you can enter your license key that you would have received when you bought the plugin. So enter your license key and we're good to go. And we can also fill in our company name, our own VAT number address, and that's the information that will be used when we issue a purchase receipt or a, an invoice to any customers. And we need to save our changes. So that's nice and simple, very little to it. Now if we go back to my little test site here and I go to my products, and if I order a product again, so I'm gonna order the same product, and I'm gonna go to the checkout, and we can see we've got our product here, 120 pounds with the VAT of 20%. Now that's because the country I've got set to here is actually France. So if we actually put change that to Germany, this would all update as before. But if we go, let's just go back to France a minute and pretend we're buying from France. You'll see here, this is important. We now have a box where a business can enter a valid VAT number and this transaction will be reverse charged. In other words, they won't be charged any VAT and you won't collect any VAT. So if I put in a valid VAT number here and I press check, it says VAT number valid and the reverse charge has been applied. So purchase total £100. If we come up to the top here, you can see our original product was £100, tax zero, and it says here usefully VAT reverse charged. So if I just make that payment, can see here that the tax is zero as it should be because it's been reverse charged. Now the other thing that the plugin will allow you to do is to put all the legally required VAT information onto things like invoices and purchase receipts. Now I've set this up on this little test site here so I'm going to go back to my admin and I'm going to come down to where it says uh, settings so I'm going to go to download, sorry, this is EDD, go to settings, and I'm going to come to emails, and then under emails, another option here is purchase receipts. And then in the purchase receipts, you can customize this. So I've got it um, a customized email subject. And then in the actual receipt, this is where we can put all the legally required information. So I've added things like the date, the billing address, 
the purchaser's VAT number if they entered one to have the transaction reverse charged. We can put the IP address of the purchaser when they made the uh, purchase and then all the business about VAT. And when that comes through as an email to the purchaser, it will look something like this. This isn't formatted completely, but here we've got a purchase receipt and you can see we've given the purchaser the link to download their product. And also we've got a, a unique ID for the receipt, how they paid, the date, their address, IP address, all the business about the VAT. In this case, it was reverse charged, so there's no VAT. And then our details right at the bottom. Now, that all can be customized exactly how you want. We can also go back to our EDD downloads options here in the admin, and we can come down to reports where we are now. And for that transaction that we've just done, we could export an EC sales list report. So I've put the dates in here, generate a CSV, and then here's the result. We've got that of that transaction, we've got the country code France, the VAT number that we put in, the value of the supplies was £100. And this indicator three means this transaction was reverse charged. So it's very easy to create a report from all of your sales using the Barn2 EU VAT plugin. Okay, so that's been a look at the Barn2 EU VAT plugin for easy digital downloads the really easy way to deal with all EU VAT requirements when you're selling digital downloads to customers in the EU. As we saw, the plugin automatically manages the required VAT rates for all EU countries, something you would otherwise have to input manually and keep updated. It creates a reverse charge option on the checkout page, and it allows you to display the legally required VAT information from your sales on purchase receipts, invoices, and in the reports you can create to enable you to make your EU VAT returns more easily. The Barn2 EU VAT plugin is available from barn2.co.uk and the link is in the description below where you'll also find links to the knowledge base and the in-depth guide on how to use the plugin. Hope you found the video useful and thanks for watching.